on April 26th. You know your teams, you know your missions. No mistakes. No do-overs. Look out for each other. This is the fight of our lives. He's pretty good at that, right? Avengers Endgame. I like this one. Let's go get this son of a bitch. He used the stones again. Hey. We'd be going in shorthanded, you know? Look, he's still got the stones, so... So let's get him. Use them to bring everyone back. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. Even if there's a, a small chance that we can undo this, I mean, we owe it to everyone who's not in this room to try. If we do this, how do we know it's gonna end any differently than it did before? Because before you didn't have me. Hey, new girl, everybody in this room is about that superhero life. And if you don't mind my asking, where the hell have you been all this time? There are a lot of other planets in the universe. And unfortunately, they didn't have you guys. Infinity War was nuts. But this one is going to be your finest hour. We're in the end game now. Thanos wiped out 50% of all living creatures. No! These are the highest stakes that the Avengers have ever faced. This is the fight of our lives. This is gonna work, Steve. I know it is. Because I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. Every time you think Marvel's pulled every single trick out of the bag, They actually saved the best stuff for this one. This is the end of the fireworks show, the grand finale. The storytelling is insane. You just don't know what you expect. I guarantee you there is no way anybody could guess what's gonna happen. We're the Avengers. We gotta finish this. If we do this, we'd be going in shorthanded. Yeah, you mean because he killed all our friends? We owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. It's not about how much we lost. It's about how much we have left. We're the Avengers. We gotta finish this. You trust me? I do. Live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. Imagine if, for the first time, our heroes all lost. Thanos had his way, and half of the population of the universe has gone. Everyone's doing their best to keep their head above water, but uh, it's it's kind of a losing battle. We lost, and, and we're not used to losing. People are kind of still coming to grips with it. Natasha is a little bit hardened from what she's had to go through. They've truly leveled us, not just literally, but morally and, and, and emotionally. There was no other way. The fans' reaction to the end of Infinity War, when half their favorite characters turned to dust, really was indicative of how emotionally connected the world has gotten to these characters. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. The good thing is it's always easier to build people back up after they've been broken down. And that, that's what Marvel's great at doing. It's that shred of hope everyone's looking for. We're in the end game now. I know I said no more surprises, but... I was really hoping to pull off one last one.
I like this one. <laughs> We lost. All of us. We lost friends. We lost family. Today we have a chance to take it all back. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. It just made sense to us that the grandest cinematic events in Marvel history should be executed in full IMAX. The level of ambition in these films is pretty high. We needed equipment that could help us fulfill that ambition. As filmmakers, it's an amazing tool for us, the way that it captures light, the way that it captures color. They're fantastic cameras. The chip is incredible. It's at a resolution that is unprecedented. The IMAX screen has a different height than a, a traditional movie screen. Having that extra verticality gives us a wider range of how we frame and how we shoot these characters. It's just presented on a much grander scale than a traditional movie theater.